Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by blenderschool.webs.com and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a text with a metal material which has scratches on it. You can use this material on any object and it's very easy to create. I'll be using Blender version 2.72b for this. So let's start creating this. So open up Blender and start the default scene. So this is the default scene. You can use any object for this material, but I'm going to use a text. So delete the default cube by pressing X and then delete. Now add a text. So press Shift A and then select text. Zoom in using the scroll wheel on your mouse. And we're going to rotate the text. So press R and then X and then 90 and then enter. Now we are going to change the text, so come in the edit mode by pressing the tab key and then change your text. I'm going to write 3D. After changing your text, you can come out of the edit mode by pressing the tab key again. Now drag out this panel to view more properties and go to the object data section, which looks like an F, looks like an F icon. Yeah. You can change the extrude value here. I'm going to use 0 0.07 You can change the bevel depth value I'm going to use 0 0.02 And also the resolution um, I'm going to use 1 Come down You'll find the paragraph section Change the alignment from left to center Now press the Alt C together And then select Mesh from Curve Metas of Text this will convert our text to a physical mesh which can be edited. Now click on the flat shading. So now we have our text. Now let's add a floor for our scene. So press shift A and then from mesh select plane. This will be the floor. So press to scale this so pre, uh, press S and then 100 and then enter. So now we have a floor. Come in the view menu and then select front. And then from the view menu again, select view perspective orthographic to go into the orthographic view. Move your plane just below the text. Now we have the basic scene. Select the text by right clicking on it and go to the materials tab to add a new material. Click on new to add a new material. Change the blender render to cycles render. And then click on the use nodes button. We get the default diffuse as the material. Now come over here and then click the small button and then select compositing. And also click on the shader button right here in the node editor. Now we get the default node setup of the material on the text. We're gonna change this. So uh, keep the default diffuse, but we're gonna add in an image texture. So press shift A and then from texture select image texture. Place it over here, connect the color of the image to the color of the diffuse. And the image texture which we are going to use is this one, which is a metal texture which has got some uh, scratches on it. It's a seamless texture and you can use it. So just load this by clicking on this open button right here in the UV image editor. And then select the folder where you have the image and then load the image that's it you can download the image the link will be in the description or you can also um, download it from blender school dot webs dot com yeah so now we have our image loaded also click on the small button the image texture node and then select metal texture we won't get this texture applied on the text because our text isn't unwrapped. So to unwrap the text, come into the edit mode by pressing the tab key, then press A once or twice till everything is selected, and then press U, and then select Smart UV Project. You can also use Project from View or Unwrap, but the texture will be stretched in those cases. So I think Smart UV Project is better for text. So select Smart UV Project, use the default values and then click on OK. So now our text is unwrapped. 
so now we'll get the material or the texture applied to the uh, text so to see the texture change the viewport shading to material now we get this dirty texture of metal on it as you can see that the metal uh, the texture is not so realistic it's not looking so good and if you see a metal it's shiny because yeah it's a metal so it should be a bit shiny so to make it a bit more shinier let's add a glossy shader so press shift a and then from shader select glossy place it below the diffuse shader now change the roughness value to 0 0.05 now we need to combine the diffuse and the glossy so we will add a mix shader so press shift a and from shader select mix shader place it over here in the middle then connect the glossy to the bottom shader of the mix shader now we need something to control this FAC value here as you can see we want the uh, shine only on the places where there are no scratches we don't want the shine where there are scratches so we are gonna use a specularity image for this so you can download it and it should be something like this it's just a simple black and white kind of image so just duplicate this image texture by selecting it and then press shift D then place it above the diffuse node click on the small button and then open that image it should be metal texture specular.jpg select it and select open image and connect the color to the FAC of the mix shader so now we have the specularity map also applied on our text now let's add some displacement displacement makes the uh, texture look more realistic which you can see you can see that there's some depth in the scratches but if you render your scene now it won't look very realistic so let's add a normal map for that so the normal map is a kind of pink or purple kind of picture like this you can download it so let's create uh, add this so select the image texture and then press shift d to duplicate it and place it below the glossy node now press shift a and then from um, vector select normal map place it over here connect the color to the color uh, color from the image texture to the color of the normal map and then connect this normal over here to the displacement now click on the small button on this image texture and then select the metal texture nrm.jpg it's the normal click on open image so now we have the normal also applied so now we have the basic material and um, uh, we are gonna do some mapping so that it looks good uh, because it's a tileable texture and if you use this texture now you won't get enough scratches so let's add a mapping node for that so press shift a and from vector select mapping place it over here and connect the vector from the mapping to all the three image texture of the specularity of the diffuse and also of the normal so once when you have done that we need to add a texture coordinates node so that we can control how the texture will be unwrapped on the text so press shift a then from um, from input select texture coordinate yeah connect the UV because we have UV unwrapped our text to the vector of the mapping so now we have the material of um, text just name this material metal now let's um, add a material for the plane for good flooring so select the plane by right clicking on it and click new now we get the de uh, default diffuse 
material. Let's add an image texture for this also. So press Shift A, and then from um, texture select image texture. Place it over here. Connect the color to this color, and we're gonna use another image texture for this. So click on this button here to open a new image, and um, this picture is um, is of kind of a concrete kind of texture. It's it's a, it's a seamless pattern or a texture. It's a black and white color. Let me just show you. Yeah, so yeah, it's this one. Uh, you can download it. It's just a simple black and white texture. It's 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 really good for the scene. So we're gonna use this, and we need to also unwrap our plane to use this. So go into the edit mode by pressing tab, then press U and then select unwrap. So now we have our plane unwrapped. Click on the small button in the image section and select the, the this picture. The name is 9.jpg. It may be something else also. Um, yeah. Now we uh, because our, uh, our plane is so big, the texture is also going to be very very big. So let us you know use a mapping node because this texture is seamless. So we can also use a, we can use a mapping node for this. So press Shift N and from vector select mapping, place it over here, connect this vector here to this one, and press Shift A and then from input select texture coordinate, place it over here and then connect the UV to the mapping vector. Now you can change the scale. Now uh, I'm gonna use 40 because it, it was fine in the X and in the Y. So that's uh, that's the material for the plane and I'm gonna come in the solid uh, shading so it's a bit better. Now come back to the default area or the default layout and um, we're gonna set the camera so come in the view menu and then select camera and then press N and then select lock camera to view just check this checkbox and you can now set up the camera view easily so I'm just gonna place it somewhat like this um, yeah yeah it's just fine and then uh, press N and then uncheck lock camera to view once you have set it up now come in the worlds tab by clicking on the world uh, tab here and change the worlds color I'm gonna use a black color for this now let's add the lights so come in the view menu and then select top. Select the lamp by right clicking on it and go to the wireframe mode by pressing the Z key. The Z key. Uh, yeah. Place this lamp, uh, 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 select the lamp and then press G and then move the lamp um, about over here. Yeah. Go to the object data button over here click on the object data button and then change the size to 2 click on the use nodes button and change the strength to 1000 uh, no not 1000 5000 yeah not 500 or more. yeah 5000 uh, now we're gonna give a slight color to the lamp because uh, it looks good if you give a very very light color not too dark so I'm gonna use a hex code of double F six D nine. No, uh, six D nine. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's a wrong hex code. Sorry. Um, let me just you know make it a bit. So you you just use some light color. I'm gonna use just a simple light color like orange or something like that yeah this is just fine I think yeah yeah it's just fine yeah it's just fine and so now we have the lamp set up I'm just gonna move the lamp using the blue arrow a bit down yeah so now we have the lamp set up but uh, for the original scene I didn't use only one lamp I used also another uh, two plane lamps over here from these two corners to get light on these inner area 
so let's add those so press shift and then select mesh and then plane rotate the plane by pressing r and then y for the y axis then 90 and then enter move the plane oh, uh, using the red arrow to the right side of the text and place it over here come to the materials tab and then click new change the surface type to emission and change the strength to 3 I'm not gonna change the color of this slab or this plane now we also need one more plane over here so press shift D to duplicate this plane and then press X for the X axis and then move it and place it over here so now we have the whole setup of our scene so I'm just gonna come in the view menu and select camera to go into the camera view and I'm also gonna save my project by coming in the file menu and then select save and I'm just gonna save it over here yeah this is fine and uh, yeah so now we're just gonna uh, we are just ready to give it a render so before that you can come in the viewport shading menu and then select rendered this will give you the basic uh, rendered setting how after rendering your uh, image of the scene will look like so our text is just fine and I think the world's color wasn't completely black I think it's kind of gray let me change it to completely black yes it's not completely black let me change it to complete black so that we get those fade kind of effect at the end of the plane and um, yeah so I think it's just kind of fine and uh, if you render you should get something like this and if you want the finished dot blend file of this scene which I had created before you can download it from blenderschool.webs.com the link of this tutorial will be in the description and also the link of the textures or the whole texture pack will be in the description you can download it from blender school and yeah so this is the scene and i think i didn't uh yeah i'm in the uh, viewport shading uh, rendered shading mode and um yeah it's just fine i think so now we can give it a render so come out of the rendered mode by pressing the z key to go into the wireframe Come in the renders, render tab, which looks like a camera, click on it. And um, come down and open the sampling section and increase the number of render samples. Now to get this quality of an image, uh, this kind of image, I used about 200 samples. And if you use more higher samples, you'll get more, uh, more, more good quality image. But as you can see in this image, you're getting these white spots um, these white spots are actually because of those gloss uh, glossy uh, shader which we had added you can see they are in some points uh, now these are actually very uh, we, uh, these add a lot of realism to our text or uh, metal text yeah and yeah you can use this material on any other object which I used I think this is not so good uh, because of the lights but yeah you can use this material and yeah so that's it guys i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment